Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Software Inc. All Mods. It has been a couple days. I had some family in town uh, just over this past weekend and it was just good spending some time with them. They, they drove in and it was just really good to see them. Um, need a little bit of rest and relaxation. Um, when late hours on my full-time job and then doing this as well is kind of running me a little thin so I got the rest I needed I am back in action and things are ready to rock and roll but I did do some things that are kind of exciting I think you guys are gonna enjoy it but let's take a look so I as you remember we went through a little bit of a micromanagement piece on the print jobs that we had going on we decked out all these wall servers and things like that but you know we had some things we needed to do with the office um, it was very generic looking, it needed to be broken out better, um, and I found a mod, and I really liked the blueprint design that they had for the office, and I went, you know what, this actually gives us some opportunity to expand, to build off of, um, and give us a lot of, uh, I think it's a good foundation to start. Um, I had some ideas originally that I was going to try to do, um, kind of this like tiered structure kind of thing, and it was becoming just an utter nightmare uh, to try to work that whole thing out get everything to line up and match up and uh, just with the space that was there so i saw this out on the steam workshop and i went you know what this is all about mods why would i custom build it when you guys and the mod creators out there have done a phenomenal job so without further ado we are going to jump up to the top and we are going to see this new building so ready i'm gonna go way over here so we can pop up and go wait that's not it that's not it we're gonna go oh i see a little bit of a corner I see a little bit of a corner and here we go look at this ladies and gentlemen i am loving 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 the look of this i think it's absolutely awesome i cannot wait to really deck this out we've done uh, i've done a little bit of work i need to get some things switched out because of the whole premise around this is mods this is all about mods so there's some vanilla things in here uh we're using some of the different uh colored oh what's it called cubicle walls so i like the fact that that was in there as well got some like meeting spots over here uh, just little tweaks. I actually decked out the bathroom over here as well. So I put that back. We've got, of course, good old lavatory, toilet paper. We've got paper towel dispensers, your hand dryer, soap, sink, the whole deal. Absolutely loving. I even put a little painting. So while you're doing your business, you have something to look at. Thought that'd be nice in here. Uh, right now, the light is off, but there is a big light in here. So we'll be good. So here we go. As we're looking at this, I'm going to go up one floor. I'll show you the main. I've, there's multiple floors to this whole building, and I'm gradually working through them to get the like the desks replaced with the actual modded ones and get things really going that way. So if we jump up here, here we go. So we have our good old desks. These are the ones that we had in the previous build and building. Uh, did a couple little tweaks. Like I need to change the bathrooms out so we have the enhanced bathrooms that are like downstairs. I want that in there. I want to deck out these, uh, make this a better lounge. Actually, like market right now, it's used for anybody and it's not any dedicated space. But we'll actually go through here and say, limit usage. This is a lounge. Um, the one thing that is missing, and I'm probably figuring someone's going, oh my gosh, it's not there. It's not there. Um, there is no canteen in this. Um, the, the building is one of the, comments that was on the actual steam forum was like oh where's the canteen there's nowhere for them to eat so i thought about since most of the workspace is up here and there's 12 people that can work in this main area here there's some meeting space there like if i actually turn this into a better meeting area there that's the elevators to go up and down um i might have to like wall this off here like up to this door that way they don't bother the meeting room and keep this as a meeting room because it's on all the floors and you can see the glass tables. I mean, the, the mod has a really, really good look to it. Uh, so I'm definitely happy with that. I like the way this is designed. This is more of a straightforward room here. Bathrooms on the side, each floor. Nice little spot over here to eat. Like I might put like a beverage thing out here or something. Um, very. They did a very nice job on this. So this just looks like more just lounge, can't, I like, kind of like canteen area, but not so much. 
and we can go all the way up to 10 stories. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that actually plays out. But yep, so. Okay, so with that, let's uh, jump jump back down in here. Uh, let's get down, oh, uh, all the way over here. There we go. So, I know we have our Design Pro 1.0. It is in its beta phase. We need to get the press release out, unless we already did that. Let me go check. We do market and we say press build. I don't think we have done this part yet, but we will double check. We can always check in the news. There. Okay, so actually that's just marketing though. Correct, that's marketing. Because it'll actually say that, hey, we have it in our hands and we've checked it out and we're interested about it. Plus we only have 83 followers and we have almost 600,000 fans to the company so we still need to do the press build we need to announce when we're actually going to release it uh, mg81 is coming down on its usage right now which is normal we've had it out for a little while but i am very excited i let me know in the comments what you think about the build what you think about this building if there's any other changes you want me to make i'd be happy to do it um yeah this is the kind of the reception area our cook is just chilling right now we will have to get that taken care of so that we have a place for them to eat. Um, they can also walk outside. So I might even open up this wall here. Um, have them inside here cooking. And then they can come out here to sit if they want as well. Make this uh, part of the canteen as well. Um, that way they can come out here to eat. Cook in here. Get their food. So and we can even switch these out as well we can actually build out like some more bench style tables and do uh, like a big long seating area there's some really nice things we can do maybe make two like little bench seat areas over here for them to eat uh, a lot of things we can do but let me know what your thoughts are on the building i i think it looks uh pretty nice that's the whole thing all the way up we'll do one quick spin around and then we will get this thing rocking and rolling on what we need i might take out some of the trees that are posted everywhere i'm not sure i'm 100 percent a big fan of the ones all the way up here and everything but hey let me know let me know there we go let's jump back down in here whoa i just spun that really quick sorry for making you guys seasick with all the in and out scrolling that i'm doing here okay so we're in april we have 83 no we have no bugs we just hit the beta phase so we're gonna look at least three months out i'm thinking We'd probably want three. That's uh, April, May, June, July. Let's go for an August release. We get one month of bug fixes, then we'll get the press release out. Let them actually bring that in. And I think that should work out pretty good for us. So, okay. Now with that, we've got, yes, yes, yes. So August, I need to mark that off. And that's over here. August of 87, not 88. So we're gonna say okay on that. It does give us four months, but we'll be okay. Uh, we're gonna also do another marketing job, pictures and video. We'll say okay. And let's, you know, what? let's roll with our press build. No, no, we're going to wait one month and then we're going to jump into that. So excellent. We got things queued up, uh, down in the basement. The one thing I did move around the SCM, uh, our source control management is over in the corner here. Nice little side table. Uh, I thought that was kind of nice. I did have to move the elevator for the, this build. I left our main piece here cause the elevators were over here. So I might move these uh, pallets this way. Right now I'm just gonna leave it alone because it works fine. But we will probably rearrange this a little bit and make that a little bit better in its aesthetics. So, but anyway, let's rock and roll. Okay, so, okay, there's too many teams in one of your rooms. 
I figured as much that would happen. Do we have anyone upstairs? No, we don't. Oh, wait, how many team? Oh, we just have support and core. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this floor here. Switch teams, this is gonna be for support. This second floor, and I will get these desks uh, switched out. Um, it's actually probably, a actually there's a really fast way I could do that. Um, we'll set this one for core. So the core team will be here. Support team will be here. Um, what I should be able to do though, is I should be able to delete this entire room. Well, <laughs> we're gonna test something here real quick. Ready? We're gonna delete this room. Ah, uh, ooh, one, one str no. I'm gonna do that another time because if I end up deleting the building, I'm gonna be mad. Because <laughs> there's other floors on top of it and I don't want them to, like, it to delete all that. that. Ew, I don't know if I like that. So, anyway, I'll try that a different time. Um, I was basically just gonna delete this floor, clone this one, and put it up here. So, I mean, I could eventually go through and do that and actually just, because it's not a whole lot up here that would really need to be rebuilt and restructured. So, I mean, I could easily do that uh, if we wanted to rebuild, but I don't want to spend this whole video doing that. I want us to get these bugs fixed. I want us to get things rocking and rolling. So, let's see if that uh, we can get them to switch up where they're seated. There we go. That should solve that whole issue of them having multiple people in the rooms. Uh, we're going to get additional bugs fixed. Yes, we are. Marketing is rocking and rolling. We're going to throw a 10 on that. I want them to get a good marketing bid done. And okay, so... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Another piece. Good gravy, we have a million and a half deals going on over here. <laughs> Uh, we have a ton of print jobs. Uh, I want to maybe pick up some of the smaller ones. I don't want to necessarily go uh, that. If I did this one, I'd have to only pick that one up and then hire a boatload of... I want to say we can actually do that. Distribution we would be super close. Well, not super close. We can do about three million in two months. That would really be pushing it. It could be done, but... Ooh. 5.4 million by January. That would be a stretch too. By September, 4.8. Hey, a million. We can do that one. We'll accept that one. I like it. So I cannot complain there. Uh, 3.6 by... No. Mm -mm. September. Oh, we could probably take that one on, maybe. Oh, this one definitely. We'll, we'll take that. That's one month right there. Well, a little less than one month for both of those. That's where when you get into, like we grabbed one of these other ones, that we get, oh man. $41,000 per day? We should just hire a bunch of marketing folks and then go from there. That's what I was thinking. So. Hmm. I know we talked about that too. We want to start building out our teams because we have a building for it that we can go and do that. So I'm seeing the marketing jobs that are coming in. That is awesome. Um, I actually put I also put in walkways. So they actually walk faster on the walkways. Um, minus that person who just walked clean. That was weird. Uh, our cleaner just diagonaled the entire thing, but they're supposed to use the walkways. You can always change the colors of them and everything. It's so cool. You can do a lot of really cool things with it. So, um, but yeah, uh, let's see how are we doing. Press release is being done there. We're coming up on, actually we're coming up on our, as they noticed, it's fine. Oh, actually, wait a minute. That was something being overburdened. That's my cooling actually, is being overburdened. Hmm. Oh, can I do that? Hang on, where? Actually, wait a minute, do I have any AC units? Doesn't look like it. Well, uh, let me do that so we can actually uh, get these 
Rooms controlled. Well, they're all 21C. Gotta be somewhere. I'll have to find it. I know there's ventilation on each one of these floors too, so that's probably what's helping to control that. But now if I put in, where are you? I want to say this is all inter. It should all be interconnected. So I'm hoping I can cheat maybe just a little bit. No, I can't. I've got an exterior wall, so I can go there. They're so loud. Put it in the bathroom. That'd be great. <laughs> Put it right over the head of the people waiting. Ugh, that wouldn't be cool. Okay, we'll have to figure out um, the overburden on cooling or heating. Definitely not heating. This thing, there's no way it's overburdened. Yeah, that's actually about half capacity. A little over half. Anyway. Uh, so we definitely need to get some couriers in. I thought we had them scheduled up. Wait a minute. Oh, they're only scheduled up for a certain part of the day. I remember that now. I really need to just open this up to every hour so that people are in all the time. So that's what would really need to be done there. We're just going to hire some temporary ones. I know it's really expensive. We'll get everything there taken care of. And rock and roll. I know you're unable to find one. I know, I know, I know. I will get you taken care of, I promise. Cool. You guys are there. See, they got beverage machines here. They can get their stuff. That's like a little lounge they can chillax in. So their social should be good. Um, I didn't put the alcohol back in. Um, I know I could do that. I just haven't. Uh, so that's just one of those things. Not yet, at least. It'll go back in eventually. So, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I forgot. I forgot to do the press build. Oh, just lost half a day. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, press build is doing well. Yeah, see, that's still dropping a thousand about every month. Okay, keep it rock and rolling. New deal just came in. These four parking spaces are just set for the folks coming in, the guests giving us deals. So they're right next to our receptions area, and we'll keep seeing these deals pop in. Like crazy. Like look at all these print jobs. We got support jobs. We're gonna have marketing jobs coming in like crazy. We need to build out. We're probably gonna have to build out cool wick. So I am looking forward to it. Uh, we have some teams we need to build out. I've got some people who've requested that, so I just want to keep saying that. I haven't forgot about you. I will go through, make sure we have everybody um, accounted for. And that is definitely a huge thing that I want to do there. Uh, what do we got? 61 bugs. We're doing great. Should when we cross over the day, we're going to see our followers jump from the press build. And then we'll get a marketing piece out and we'll start printing. So I just want to see how many of the. Boom. 458. So what'd they say? Uh, let's put out a build for that. It might be worth our time. Oh, let's pause real quick. Wait a minute. Come back to that newspaper. Uh, not well known in this market, which is true. Uh, we haven't really heard about it. Might be a, might be the new big hit and has new feature. Ooh. I was saying it's gonna be a new big hit. So let's get some printing going with this as well. How are we doing down here? Did we clear both those jobs. We did. Good gravy. That was awesome. Okay, so we're gonna, not marketing. I already did marketing. Uh, we're gonna do print jobs. We're gonna say limit. Cancel. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Let's go with uh, 150,000. Right? That's 150,000? Yes. We'll start with 150,000. I think that should be good. Um, even though I know this one like skyrocketed through the roof last time, but we'll see. See how she does. Get that done. Ooh, 500 followers. Things are going up. We have marketing as well. Samira. Oh, see, it isn't fully cooled. I didn't think it was. Okay. I might make like a little utility section where I can put a bunch of air conditioners without impacting the overall aesthetics of the building. I might do like a little corridor over here or maybe take up this corner right here and just all the way up. 
So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing there. But I thought that would be good. So. Okay. And yep, coming up to the end of June. We're gonna have, oh look, they're just chilling. Love it. That's what I like to see. A lot of this area, like I said, is unused because the whole room's not marked for like meetings. It's just marked for anyone. But yeah, everyone's chilling in the front right there. Boom. But all the all the computers, everything there is going to be maintained and, and upheld, which is good. A lot of enhancements we can do with this building, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. Oh my gosh, I definitely need uh need to get that cook taken care of. I've been paying him every day just to sit. He sits in the lobby the whole day. <laughs> So, okay, okay, so we're in July. Oh, we should have a bunch of, oh, no, couriers have already picked them up. That's what it was. All of these jobs in here, there's support jobs, there's gonna be marketing jobs. We, oh, oh, we lost the one, 41,000 one. It's fine, we don't have the teams for it quite yet, but we will get them. Hey, man, can we pick up one of those print jobs, actually? Real quick. Oh, yeah, definitely that one. We'll take you. Close that. Uh, this one. Oh, we'll definitely take that. These are little rinky-dink ones. Oh, my gosh, these are amazing. Let's keep picking these up. I mean, we'll do this literally in a day without any problem. 4.8, 304, we'll accept that one. Let's hold it there. Awesome. And we got a bunch of those print jobs rocking and rolling. Get things moving. Uh, I might do this at about 6,500. We'll send out the press release. Because it'll be right at the start of the release month, because we're in July. August is next, obviously. Oh, but our marketing folks are actually gone for the day. So we're going to release. We were mentioned. Let's get this thing moving a little bit. Uh, oh, a lot of companies being acquired. Yep, plan to release in August. And we are. And I like. I usually like to release at the start of the day. Um, the reason being is you get a full, technically in this uh, month worth of sales. And instead of doing like midday and then you only get half day, uh, half of the possibility for sales. So that is where I kind of, kind of how I always played that one. It was one of those where I always did it at that point in time. So we are at the beginning of the day. This is where I usually come in and go, oh, we have a thousand. We have 150,000 copies. So I think we should be fine. We're going to release this. I do want to release. Uh, marketing is critical and they can spend as much as they want. We do not need to set up a print job. That was that last screen. Feel free to pause if you want to read it. It's just asking if we want to set up a print job. If we say yes, it brings you to the print job screen. It'll bring you to the same screen as if you, I don't have one there. If I went here, it said start printing. No. Um, oh yeah, but I got to click on it first. Duh. If I went like that, it'll bring you to this screen here, is all it does. So, um, anyway, let's see how first day sales went, and that will be a wrap for this one here. Actually, we'll do that at the very start of the next one, uh, is the see how first day sales go. With that, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, feel free to hit any comments up if, if there's things you want to see me change in here. Like, I might even, um, if you want me to take out the, like this section and we use it for something better. Or let me just know your thoughts in general. I'd love to uh, see those in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.